You're doing well. A mother and five kids are still homeless after a deadly drag racing accident damaged their home four months ago. We find out tonight. Homeless? Could be you and me. What is being done to solve this? Our Gwendolyn Decree actually spent tonight much of the evening with people working for solutions to bring to city leaders. You saw, Gwen, today that homelessness does not have just one face, right? It doesn't, Ted. Take a look at this face. It's Brianna Holloway. We've introduced her to you several times, once as a school board candidate, another time as an active community member. Tonight, for the first time, we meet a homeless mother. I haven't been able to cook a meal for me and my children for over 100 days now. Brianna Holloway has been looking for a home since the last time we saw her, right after that deadly East Magnolia wreck that damaged her home. The mother of five and a small business owner qualifies for Section 8 housing, but she says even with the assistance, she's hitting a dead end. I mean, I literally stand no chance of finding housing for me and my children unless there's someone out there that knows me or knows my story and is understanding and is willing to not only take a chance on me, but take a chance on, on that voucher, which a lot of landlords are no longer accepting the vouchers. She's taking her story to this group of people where affordable housing is just one of many issues addressed at this People's State of the City Forum. Give false praise and accolades for... It's a direct response to Mayor India Kincannon's State of the City address and budget proposal. Kincannon is asking $7.5 million of the city's budget go toward affordable housing, with $4.5 million going to Transforming Western, an initiative to overhaul Knoxville's largest public housing community. The people are asking for more. And we applaud the city for the investments they have made in affordable housing and permanent supportive housing. But um, it's not enough and there are still people, in fact there are folks here who are you know, on the verge of, of houselessness. And so we want to see more money for affordable housing, um, more units that are affordable and not just high-end luxury condos, which is predominantly what we're seeing. Other concerns include public safety and finding an alternative to the city's mental health response team. They ultimately want more say in the mayor's budget moving forward. We'd like to see more of this done by the city ahead of time. Giving people like Callaway a voice. And, and it's time to take action. In Knoxville, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. If you've got an opinion, you have a chance to let your voice be heard during the budget hearing, which is coming up Tuesday, next Tuesday. We have more details on the budget proposal in the WVLT News app.